Hi guys, I am going to show you this video and upload it to my YouTube channel so that you can see this and I'll um, walk you through some of the stuff that's here. So just give me a second while I get it going. And it's just a sheet ironing board. And then I created this pressing board with a 24 by 24 inch wood board. So she put a special pressing board on top of her ironing board, not something you would have to do. You, uh, that's just an option if you had like a square that you wanted to iron a fabric, it makes it a little bit easier to do that. I'm gonna skip through a little bit. She just has some sprays that she uses to help with um, flattening the fabric and getting the wrinkles out. And that particular one adds like a smell to the fabric, which is nice. Um, not something you need to have or have to do. Really the most important part of this video is where she's going through and actually ironing. So I'm gonna skip a little bit. Um, you can use a lint roller to clean off your fabric if it's got some pilling on it, it makes it easier to take it apart or to take off that pilling. Now you wanna lay out your fabric as flat as you can. Sometimes your iron can leave marks on your fabric and that is terrible. So I'm actually gonna start in one section, and because this is a one yard cut, it's uh, 36 by 44, I should be able to press this entire piece with just four little sections. So I'm gonna try to smooth it out the best I can. So she's smoothing that out, um, making it um, as flat as possible before she actually irons. She's spraying it with the, the special spray, but you don't have to do that, obviously. Um, and then she's going through and she's using the iron to push out the wrinkles and flatten the fabric. Okay, so the way the three ways that an iron works is that you have heat from the metal plate that's at the bottom, and then you also use pressure by pushing on the iron while you're ironing. And then you also um, have water sometimes that will help with getting the wrinkles out. Um, the iron does have, can have water in it. If yours doesn't, it's just a dry iron, you can use that just as well. It just has one less uh, way to iron. So she's just gonna go through and iron out this fabric. You'll notice that she's pausing and kind of pushing. She's also releasing steam onto the iron. So it's going through and allowing it to um, get that one crease out. You can see that it's almost gone now that she's putting pressure and she's kind of ironing uh, at a slower rate to make sure that the fabric um, loses that little crease that's in there. Okay, so you go through and iron. I'm going to skip because I want you to see. So this is where she's going through and going to move the fabric. So you want to grab the fabric and slide it around so that it's going to a different part that you're going to iron. So you would move this on the ironing board so that you could go through and do that. Okay, and you're gonna smooth it out with your hand, make it so that you can um, put the wrinkles in a spot where it's easy for you to iron. Okay, so you do the same thing. You just go through and repeat the process for the entire piece of fabric. Uh, we're actually gonna stop there because that's really all I needed you to see from the video.